Tensions between orchestra members and management have been running high since August, but negotiations continued. Now it appears the season is in jeopardy. This is giving management clear indication of our intentions. Ken Tompkins is a 13-year veteran of the Detroit Symphony Orchestra. He and his fellow musicians may soon be trading the stage for the picket line. DSO talks with management broke down Friday, and now a strike is set to begin on October 4th. Management came back and said they were not willing to amend their position, and therefore the meeting was over. Tompkins says management wants unreasonable concessions from the players. The management wants 33% cut for existing members and a 40% cut for new members, along with changes in other benefits. Right now, veteran musicians make approximately $104,000 a year. Management wants an initial salary cut down to about $70,000 in the first year with increases in subsequent years. The musicians are offering a 22% pay reduction, which means they would still make $82,000 a year. The cuts are needed to close a budget deficit. The bad economy has taken a toll on ticket sales and donations. It's not about, you know, less money. We're willing to give and we're willing to sacrifice. It's about preserving the quality of this great orchestra. Orchestra management told Action News they were not available for an on-camera interview, but they did release a statement that reads in part, we are in an untenable position and cannot go beyond the financial offer that's been on the table. Any increase beyond our last offer will put the DSO in a deeper hole that would ultimately drive the organization out of business. Tompkins says he is hopeful that the Max will not sit empty this season, that talks could resume, even though at this point there are no plans to do so. Reporting from Detroit's Cultural Center, I'm Tom Waite, Channel 7 Action News.